Where does a DAC perform its conversion? It's an interesting question. It comes to us from Robert in Mesa, Arizona. Robert writes, if a DAC has a digital coax in and a digital coax out, where will the conversion take place? Example, CD player, digital coax. DAC, digital coax. Integrated amp. All three have DACs built into them. The CD player, the DAC, of course it is a DAC, and the integrated. So I think there's a little, <laughs> that's, it's a good question. I think there's a little confusion going on. First off, DACs typically do not have digital outputs. It's pretty rare. We make tons of DACs and our DACs, none of our DACs have digital outputs because why? Why would you have a digital output? There's a, it would just be a pass through. So the RCA connector that you see on the back of that DAC is an input only. And that's where the conversion is done. I think DACs are kind of a mystery, aren't they? We, we hear so many of these terms bandied about. We, we hear, oh, DACs, and we hear about uh, DSD and PCM, and, and we, like to, we like to think that we got all that, just all that jargon nailed down, but in fact, there's a lot of mystery if you're not an engineer. And, well, here's an engineer right there. Well, come on over here, Bob. Now you gotta get into the video. Can get the video you now? can come on over here and get in the video. We're just talking about DACs. <laughs> This is our chief engineer, Dr. Bob Stadler. Hi there. Hi. So we're there wondering um, why, if, if a DAC has a digital in and a digital out, where is the conversion done? And I'm just sort of explaining that actually it doesn't have a digital out. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Because that wouldn't work. Because that wouldn't work, yeah. yeah. And it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. So. We were just talking about the mystery of, of DAX. You out of here? I'm out of here. All right, have a good trip. Yep. Okay. So Bob has been responsible for designing just about every product that PS Audio has ever made, um, the power plants and whatnot. So, and he's on his way to California, out and gonna see the NAM show and, and whatnot. Anyway, so where were we? It's the jargon and all is is easy, but the understanding isn't so easy all the time. So inside of a CD player, every CD player has a DAC built in. And for a lot of people, that's just what they do. They listen to the, to the analog output through the DAC. It's a CD player. When you get into high-end audio, we like to separate things. We like a separate preamp. We like a separate DAC. We, we take something that is like a receiver or an integrated amplifier and we take its components out and then we work hard like like here this here's a phono gosh we don't make light stuff <laughs> so here is a phono stage right this is the stellar phono uh, great piece we just got a crazy good review from Michael Fremer in Stereophile and 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 look at all that in there. Now, our very first phono that we made at PS Audio had a PC board about that big, and it had a couple of op amps on it, because that's really all you need. But over time, we learned how to do it better. We learned that to make it discrete, with all discrete parts, no op amps and no chips, that we could make the sound better and better and better, but we could never have done that inside of an integrated unit or inside of a receiver. There's just too much stuff going on, so we go into separates. And separate DACs, which are all part of what Robert is asking about, CD players, integrated, and the DAC itself, they um, are separated out of those products because there we can devote an entire chassis to the task of converting digital to analog, of which, if you hang in there, we will talk more about in our upcoming series. So, sorry about the long ramble. Quick thing, <laughs> DACs don't have digital outs. And 
CD players do, but DACs do not. Okay, thanks, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.